Good morning, and today Mr. Williams is bringing two third grade classes to Natural Bridge State Park. Everybody in the circle, make, make, make the up. circle a little bit bigger. Oh, good, okay. That's good, I think. Okay, let's scoot this way. Scoot towards Mr. Williams. <coughs> oh. There we go. Yeah. And we can fit hopefully smart. Keep scooting. Scoot you in. Keep scooting. Keep yeah. scooting, Parker. Parker. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Believe it or not, you can see more when you back up. Yeah. All right, thank you. Raise your hand if you saw some fields that looked all black out here. Some of you were watching out the window. Those fields probably were burned. And that's to protect the native plants and burn away the, the weeds, the non-native plants. So that was probably done on purpose because fire helps the prairie plants and prairie plants are plants that we want to have growing. All right, we're at Natural Bridge State Park. So the name of it is Natural Bridge because there's a natural bridge here made out of stone. What? What? Mm -hmm. what? Yeah, no. caused by wind and rain and ice and, and cool. all kinds of things. Yeah. You know, so the trip today of course, it's about nature. You know, we're, we're all going to be nature detectives looking for clues. But the big thing is the rocks here. The rock shelter and the bridge itself. Now, you know, you, you go to school and you learn all kinds of things about history and biology and nature. And it's usually based on what we know right now and what we think we know. But sometimes it changes. So one of the signs we're going to see here is about people. Who knows when America was discovered? When? 19, about 1960. Well, it was in the teens. <laughs> Anybody remember anything about who discovered it? <clears throat> well, okay, so in the history books, it's going to say in 1492, Christopher Columbus sailed across the ocean and discovered America. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> People were living here for thousands and thousands of years. He came over and discovered it for the Europeans, but people were living here. And we're going to see a sign about that today. So, are you ready to be nature detectives? Yeah! Okay, one of the things I'm going to ask you, though, is that we walk and look. We're getting a little bit of snow right now, and we got a little bit of snow maybe Sunday night, Monday morning which makes it great for tracks. So we might see some really good tracks. So if you see some really nice tracks, let's stop and look at it. And if I see it, I'm gonna get down and I'm gonna have the tracks in front of me here and maybe I'll draw a circle around it. So maybe we can get a smaller circle if that happens and the people in the front get down so the people in the back can see it. It's Try not to group. step on the tracks. Right, Mr. Williams? Pardon? Try not to step on the tracks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Try not to step on it. <laughs> and we're looking for tracks. And my favorite clue. Anybody remember my favorite clue from kindergarten? <laughs> what do you think? Bones. Oh, bones are a good one. Yeah, that's what I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, bones are a great one. That's not the one I was thinking about, though. <laughs> yes, scat, the science name for it, scat, poop. Because all the animals poop a little differently. Oh, my God. And you can tell <laughs> what kind of an animal, what they've been eating, and maybe if they're healthy or sick. 
Yeah. Um, when I was going to, um, going on a hike on uh, Chicago, I saw deer tracks and rabbits. In Chicago? Deer are all over. We've invaded their space. And they're coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Raccoons, too. All right. Yes. Uh, you're gonna um, get so actually, yesterday, um, we, at, we um, our mom bought something that I pulled an owl counter and we had a search for bones. Yeah. Yeah, and I got so many. Well, I'd be surprised if we find some, but we could. All right, let's get walking. <coughs> Today we have Mrs. Jabalfer's class and Mrs. Olson's class. Kids are walking up the hill now. <laughs> Come on, Parker. be lots of signs along the way and most of them are about Native Americans and what they did with different plants so we're gonna stop at some of them we're not gonna stop at all of them but this one here I just want to read this one to you Ridge Muncie Oneida Menominee Potawatomi and Ho-Chunk over the years various tribes passed near Natural Bridge, including Fox, Sauk, and prehistoric tribes. And that was way before Columbus discovered America. These people were all living here. This was their home. Maybe you one to every two or three people. Sure. When you get this thing, just hang on to it. I'll tell you what to do with it. Yep, you got to share with someone around you. I don't want to hold it. Yeah, I don't want to hold it. 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 I don't want to
Wow. What I just gave you is a seed pod from a plant called bergamot. It's a wonderful prairie plant. And if you look closely at it, it's got a little poo, and that's where the seeds are. But when we're being nature detectives, we're using our eyes and our ears and our noses. So what I want you to do, if you've got one of those, is maybe with your bare hand, squeeze it really hard, and then smell it and let the people around you smell it. Squeeze it real hard. Smell my fingers. Smell your fingers. Smell the food. Yeah. It smells like this, but it's not like this. It smells 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 like this. Yes, I like that. It smells like a ball. You know what I'm talking about? Hello? 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 This is like the hill thing. climbing on here is because the pathway is not up there and the snow is not real thick right now so there might be plants underneath there that you would be scraping away. So plants on hills and rocks are pretty vulnerable. That means they can be destroyed pretty easily. Is the question? No. Oh. All right. So if you look behind me, Stop rubbing on the ground. you see that rock kind of sticking out? Yeah. Up there? Raise your hand if you see it. Okay, good. I am guessing that it went one time, and it went all the way across. And it was a bridge also. But erosion, the wind and the rain and the ice and, and plants growing on it caused it to collapse to just be that one little part. And I think that's what's going to happen to the natural bridge. No. Eventually, you know, you come back here in a hundred years and see. Oh wait, you might be too old then. No. I'll, I'll You're not old. You know. You're young. You're young. You're kids. But right yeah, now, and it used to be used to that they let people walk up there, but they don't let what? people walk up there anymore. Because that would hurry up the erosion. Question? No, we're not going to walk on it. And... 
Wait, 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 it's DK. Oh, see. It's coming. It's a DK. It's a DK. It's a DK. Me and my RC. Ryan, stay on this side of the fence. That's not Joe's Rich. Yeah, that's not Ralph. Mrs. D. Mrs. Queen. Connor. Go out there. try and read it loud enough so everybody can hear. It's about the bridge and the rock shelter. The natural bridge of sandstone, and most of these stones around by us are sandstone. Out at Harchi it's sandstone. But there's different kinds of sandstone. Some sandstone is harder, some is softer, and you can see a big gap there. Maybe that's where there was a water level at one point or maybe that was softer sandstone, but it, it's different. And each one of those little layers could tell a story about when it was laid down, when that sand was laid down. Because at one point, it was all underwater. Sandstone was underwater. That's hard to believe, but it's true. Okay, 35 feet high was carved by the uneven dissolving of mineral deposits, building the sand grains together, binding the sand grains together. The result, after many years of erosion by water, frost, action, wind, and gravity, uh, this is the largest natural art in the state. It remains today because of the location in the driftless area of southwestern Wisconsin. That means the glaciers that were here 12,000 or 15,000 years ago didn't come here. Otherwise, they would have knocked it down. So it's the largest in our state, right here. 
and we can come to it on a day trip like this. The rock shelter now. Beneath the bridge is a natural rock shelter which was excavated in 1957. That means their scientists came out here and dug around, see what they could find that had been covered up by the dirt. Uh, by archaeologists, they discovered charred wood believed to be from the fire pits of a people here possibly as long ago as 12 thousand years ago. America was discovered in 1492. That's maybe a thousand years. People were living here 12,000 years ago. Making this one of the oldest dated sites for human occupancy in northeastern North America. The people of that faraway time called Paleo Indians, but they were people, <laughs> may have hunted such animals as mastodons or woolly mammoths right here in this area. Mastodons and woolly mammoths 12,000 years ago. Question? Um, scientists are close to reviving the woolly mammoths. And what? <laughs> 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 yeah, they are. That's what I've heard. Let's see. Uh, the rock shelter at first was a seasonal and tempor temporary refuge, later a permanent one. The Native Americans encountered here by the white settlers could be regarded as later day representatives of this ancient culture. So this is an amazing thing that we can come to just in one day. Oh, this is charred wood. This is part of a fire. All right, just take another quick look and then we're going to be walking again. Yeah. That, yeah, that's according to a calendar that we created. We created a, a calendar, but then they, they have time before zero. You know, they like mid-zero, 2022, but before that, there, there was a different kind of calendar. There was a class right now. Yeah, it's hard to understand. Oh! <laughs> Pizza! 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 Thanks, bud. Connor, you're not quite in it, buddy. Shoot it. Come here! Miles, come here. Are you okay? Miles! Everybody! Miles! Miles! Look at me! Jason, can you take a step out over for me? Thanks, bud. <laughs> Keep smiling. Where? Keep smiling. All right, now do a silly one. Oh, I thought that last one was a silly one. <laughs> All right. Look at Bella. Look at Bella. Okay, watch out, Miss Olsen's class. Get in there. Excuse me. Ooh. Hey, boys and girls. That's cool, minute. isn't it? Oh. Wait a minute. Somebody asked me a question about if this is 2022, I mean 2022, how could this be 12,000 years ago? Maybe your teachers can explain this much better than I will, but we created a calendar and we started at zero 2022 years ago. But before that, before zero, there was time, there was people living and they just had a different kind of calendar. But I hope you guys could explain it better. I have a way to explain <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, get in there and squish it together. I'll remind one of them. You're going to go home. Oh, I'm sure you will. All right, okay, here we go. One, Smile. two, this is Mrs. Olsen's class. Three, Smile. 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 Smile.
Left-handed, you're still. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're just going to stop over. at this okay. one sign, because I think this yeah. one is amazing. Some of the other signs, like there was one back there about aspirin. You know, you take aspirin for some pain relief. Well, they didn't, 12,000 years ago, they didn't have grocery stores or Walgreens. You know, that's a relatively new concept, grocery stores. <laughs> so what they would do is they'd take the inner bark from certain trees and they'd have medicine men or maybe it was medicine women and they would know about the different kinds of plants. Like maybe some of you, so they would take the inner bark of certain trees and they would chew on it. That would be a pain reliever. But somebody had to know what kind of bark to do. And then the black cherry, some of you maybe have taken some cough drops called black cherry cough drops. That's another thing that used to be a Native American thing. Some of these trees are called cherry trees. <coughs> this one though, we, if we need some string or some rope, we go to the hardware store and five bucks or two bucks and we get a roll of 150 feet or 200 yards, something like that. Good guess, but I don't think so. I know, I know. Although that they might be like that. Yeah. Bugs is part of the answer. Yeah. Woodpeckers? Woodpeckers. But a special kind of woodpecker, I'm thinking. I'm thinking these are from a sap sucker. Yeah, so instead of looking for bugs, which some of the woodpeckers are doing, they're looking for bugs. The sap sucker comes along, pokes in there, and the tree blood's flowing. What's the tree blood called? Sap. The sap, yeah. So he licks up the sap. The other thing I called you here for, I want you to use your imagination. Okay, picture yourself 12,000 years ago, and instead of the coat you're wearing, you probably will, maybe were wearing a, a, a leather bison throw over because you uh, had attached some bison along the way. But the, your family is hungry, and they live in that shelter back there, and they need some food. And they sent you to get it. So you came up here to look out in the field to see if there's any woolly mammoths or any mastodons. And you've learned from your elders how to make spears and how to sneak up on them. And you're going to have to attack one. So just imagine yourself looking out there, pretending thinking about how you're going to do this. This is your first time on your own to bring home the food, a mastodon. And there's some young ones, and maybe there's some, maybe with a little limp or something like that, that you think you can catch. So just use your imagination, turn around and look out there and think about that. Kids are, and their parents are helping them get down the kind of steep part here. Can I keep going? Can we keep going? No, wait, or go ahead a little bit, but not no, too far. the second tree there. And then just kind of stop there. Go ahead, go. Right there, don't go any further. You good? So be careful. Now you can slide on your butt if you want. I think that next yeah, that's spot there. Like. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> oh, I don't want you to turn her down. I know you got this. 
A lot of them are confident by the time they get here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's a good spot to be, like, where you are. Now I'll go here. Yeah. Because you kind of get momentum going. Yeah. See? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, for, reach for her hand, hand, honey. You got her hand? Yeah. You're doing great! Oh my goodness! Yeah. Then reach oh, for right. mine. Then reach for mine. Yes. There you go. Oh. 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 I see a tiny one like that. I'm one tree. Oh, look she's the next tree, and we're doing great. Yeah. I'm going to go up oh, the side. Oh, we're already going back to the side.